Hey, big hello to everyone, this is Tatiana, and welcome to my channel. Today's manicure will be on these beautiful nails here, and today's client is a very special one for me because she happens to be one of my students. My dear student Johanna is from Israel and came all the way to Russia for my meet and greet. Johanna told me how she learned to do her own nails by watching my videos on YouTube, and I just love hearing these kind of stories from you guys, knowing that my videos are not only helping but also inspiring others all around the world. Today's set is going to be so unique and so beautiful. I cannot wait to get started and hear which set you all like the most. As you can see, Johanna likes to keep her nails interesting and has them in two completely different shapes. We've decided that we're going to keep them in these two different shapes but change the colors and design. So I'm getting straight to work and removing the prior coating with my nail drill using a bit with red abrasion. Further with my nail file, I am freshening up their shape and further cleaning up the cuticle area. Now I can dehydrate her nails, apply a primer, and a thin layer of a base coat. Once that's cured, I'm taking a poly gel and fixing the tips, perfecting their shape. I love when my clients want to try something fun and creative, and today's decorative elements will be the perfect thing for a fun and unique set.
After applying a builder gel in a bottle, I'm lightly sprinkling on this beautiful rosy matte glitter. I'm spreading the glitter out a little bit, and then right over the wet finish, I'm placing on a few decorative elements. I've let those decorative elements cure underneath the lamp, and now I'm adding a little bit of decorative confetti. Then I can seal everything in a clear builder gel in a bottle. I'm also using this product to level her nails. This technique is very similar to the technique I did on my own nails in my last video. If you haven't seen that video yet, make sure to go and check it out. I did my nails right before having my baby, and the set turned out so cute that even the doctor loved it. And now just to file her nails down from underneath and seal them in a top coat. To continue our design, I'm coating the tips of her nails in this peachy orange. And then with a brush, I'm feathering out the color to almost the cuticle area. I'm also going to be using another color today, this bright and pretty pink. I think that these two colors are going to look so pretty together. After the first layer has cured, I'm applying a second coating. But our design is not done quite yet. With a white spider gel, I'm creating simple swirls on top, almost giving the look of butterfly wings or flower petals. What I love about spider gel is that it's super easy to use but gives the look of an intricate design. Down in the description box below, I've left a link for my recommended spider gel, along with an entire list of some of my favorite products. And now to seal everything in a matte finish. and just look at how gorgeous they turned out. However, if you remember, we still have a completely different set to complete. To complement the nails on her left hand, I'm using some of the same beautiful colors from earlier, but changing up the design. 
First, in a white gel polish, I'm painting a thick line down the center of her nail. Then I'm mixing some of these beautiful colors together and applying that carefully right across the white triangle, which has already cured underneath the lamp. Then to let everything cure together and finish off this set with a semi-transparent bluish chrome powder. And here they are, two completely different designs that I think look absolutely beautiful together. And what do you guys think? Which set do you prefer? Let me know down in the comment section below. And if you liked today's video, then please let me know by giving it a big thumbs up. And until next time.